Does your calligraphy seem amateur and you want to upgrade and make it look like a pro? Like in previous video, I'm here to continue helping. Kick start your Ravi calligraphy journey in just few steps sitting at home. Remember, we are doing it letter by letter to make you a pro at each and every letter. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Art Bimble, where I provide you with some art related tips and tricks, some art stories to make your art journey easier. Happy learning with Art Bimble! It's time for learning Ba, Ta, and Sa. But before that, if you missed out on the first letter, that is Aleph, and some basic tips, you might want to go and check out this video. I hope by now you're an expert at writing Aleph. By the end of the video, you'll become an expert at knowing how to write ba, ta, sa, jeem, ha, ha. And then it's your turn to practice and become a pro at it as well. All the best. For ba, ta, sa, make two downward nuktas. One and a half nuktas down, I made two margins to make it clear where to put the horizontal nuktas. Make six to seven nuktas at the bottom margin. This is going to give you the length of ba, ta, and sa. Now, from the last nukta down the bottom line, make two nuktas vertically. At half of second nukta is going to be the base line. Let's start the first stroke from the top line and then going down to the base line. At the end, we're going to make a curve. Now, the nuktas. Whether it's ba, ta, or sa. The curve tip is as if it was a complete circle, one and a half nuktas diameter. Now is the time for writing without nuktas, where you get to know how the strokes are to write the letter and the rough idea of measurements. As I said, these won't be accurate until and unless you're going to practice a lot with nuktas. As I said in the previous video, without nuktas, you're going to know the art. But with nuktas, you're going to become accurate. Now I'm showing you another way of writing ba, ta and sa. At the front of this stroke, you're going to make another stroke that's facing downwards. This should be at a distance of one nukta. The length as I said is going to be six to seven nuktas. Its front top portion should be one nukta, so I guess there's a bit of mistake. We'll write it once again. This portion should be one nukta and then six to seven nuktas. This should be one nukta and I guess one nukta fits now perfectly. The next letter is G. Another one ha and K. So we call it high and high in Urdu. So this is Jin, this is Ha or Hai, and this is Ha or Hai. For the first stroke, you have to make four horizontal nuktas. Now make the top stroke. Okay, so this stroke is not a straight line. You have to make it as if it's a wave. Then you have to make vertical nuktas at the right hand side. Total of four and a half nuktas. In between last two nuktas, like the fourth one and the half one, make two nuktas horizontally to the right. These margins will allow you to know where to put G. Starting from the right hand side, make a curve till the last facing downwards and it should coincide with the first stroke till two and a half nuktas. 
The third stroke is a curve facing upwards and then it extends one and a half or two nuktas. This extension should be triangular in shape and try to make it one and a half nuktas only but you can also go for two nuktas. Also if you cannot make this try to leave the third stroke just at the borderline and then make the triangular tip. So this last stroke is going to be five and a half or six nuktas in length. So first we did a baby curve. Then we did two and a half nuktas downward curve. Around two nuktas is the other curve. So like in total it's four and a half nuktas downwards. And then there is the horizontal of four and a half, five and a half nuktas. And also this is one and a half nukta. The tip is one and a half nukta. Remember the first two curves are coinciding till two and a half nuktas. This first curved portion is one and a half nukta. The first stroke can be written in another way. It's a bit complex, not complex, but um, you know, not that simple. So first you make this curve and then you go slightly up and then a dip and then you're going to make the second curve. And then the final curve and that dip. Let me outline this to make it clear. This one is the first stroke here. A wave. Next stroke is going to be a dipped stroke. Bit of a concave type curve. And then the third one is same. Also the fourth one is similar. This is the triangular tip. So this is what makes it a bit different like this first curve, first wavy stroke, then a bent stroke or a concave stroke, a dipped stroke, whatever you call it as. There's the third curve that's similar and it's also going to be two and a half uh, nuktas like at two and a half nuktas it will coincide with the second curve. And finally this cute little triangular tip that's going to be one and a half nuktas horizontally. Moving on towards without nuktas. Okay, I forgot jeem and kha. This is how you make jeem and then for kha it's at the top. Okay, so without nuktas, it's a freehand thing. You can master it when you will learn with noktas and yeah, here you are not bad, as I said. Okay, a bit, a bit of mistake, but it's okay. As I said, it's for art, not for khatati, for the accuracy, precision. We are just going to do art. This is how we will do our beautiful canvases. We don't need to learn. Khatati. You can. You can go for it. You can definitely go for it. There's no harm in learning Khatati and then doing art. I guess that's the best way. It will be perfect. But as I said, I don't need believe in perfections. You know, you will try your best to make it perfect, but it doesn't have to be it won't be. nothing is perfect except Allah's creation so you can just try to make it pleasing to the eyes but yeah it just kind of makes me feel like if it's seen as computerized what's the difference how does it make it special or original I don't know there might be difference of opinion I know but that's what I think so let's meet next saturday and learn the next letters thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe also share with those who would want to learn till next time fiamanilla